Met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd There was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind I said you can do what you want to with me, yeah I won't mind As long as you stay with me, I'm alright I wanna hold ya We have no choice but to wait it out to the day of the wedding. It'll give us time to get the evidence we need to put this guy and his dad away for good. I know they're doing something illegal. I just fucking know it. You're not the only one, Jack. We've had follow-ups with Julian and Isaiah for a long time. If this does not go as planned, I'm afraid we'll lose Bianca for good. And we don't need that. I can already see the hell my son has been put through. And I'll be damned if I put him through this again. Mom? I'm sorry we ever decided she wasn't good enough for you. You're right. You're an adult. We should be treating you like one. Okay, Angie. Enough with the sentimental stuff. We need to have at least months worth of planning before we save Bianca. Jack, have you or James ever played any shooting games? I played them all the time when I was little. I still play them, but not as frequent as before. You know, I used to play them, till our dad just threw it out. Always saying it was rotting our brain every time we played something. Well, it's going to be like a good old game of Shoot Fest 3. Damn, I haven't played that in the longest time. But what does a game like this have to do with saving Bianca? It's giving you an idea on what it will be like. The goal of the game is to save the best friend, correct? Right. And in this case, it's Bianca. Unfortunately, Angela, that does mean your son and daughter will have to learn how to shoot. If everything is going to be successful, they need to learn how to protect themselves. <sighs> it wouldn't be the first time I had to face an issue where my kids have to go behind my back. Actually, Mom, that's what I wanted to tell you about. Remember the job offer I got before good old dad kicked me out? Carly. What? He did! Anyways, the job offer I got was at the police station. I've been working there for three years. I got promoted to a special agent for special cases. You're kidding. Journey, did you know about this? What did I say about using my name, Angie? Yes, I knew about a new recruit. But I didn't know it was Carly. Yeah, you only have to worry about Jack and James having to learn how to shoot a gun, and hopefully save Bianca. I'm counting on you, Agent J. You don't have to tell me twice. Make sure you guys make it back alive. We'll make sure she's okay. And we'll come back safe. I promise. Bianca, do you ever think your parents will accept me? I honestly don't know. My parents can be difficult to get through. But what if I were to convince them? Then you were obviously the better choice. If you can ever get them to change their mind. I think I can. 
As long as I have you, everything will be fine, right? Of course. I wouldn't be going anywhere anyways. That's all I care about. Don't worry, James. We'll get Bianca out of this mess, and then we'll get you and her away from this family. Thanks, Jack. Starting tomorrow, I'll pick up the boys and we'll start training. We've got months to prepare, so we better get started with what little time we have left. Thank you. For doing this again. Well, I was put in a similar situation, so... I guess you could say this holds a special place in my heart. And besides, things would not be so bad if I ended up having a sister. And Jack not being so depressed. Can you blame me? No, I can't. It's why I'm not giving you a hard time over it. If I was putting your shoes... Ugh, I don't know what I would do if I lost Ariana. So that's her name. Did I never tell you guys about her? You never said her name, but always talked about her endlessly. <laughs> I can't help that. I know you can't, sweetie. That's why I never bugged you for it. We were always ranting about how special she was. Well, that's all good and fine, but can we stop talking about this now? This is about Jackness that we have to help out with. Thanks, Carly. But how are we even going to help her if the person she is marrying is bad news? We have to be super ahead of them. That's all I can say. We don't know if they're planning something, or worse. They could be doing something horrible to Bianca. If he does anything to her, I swear to fucking god, I will kill that son of a bitch. James, what's wrong? I just want to make sure Bianca is safe. I don't understand why our parents are making this happen. Usually with these cases, the eldest is the one who has to be forced into marriage. And I know you're the oldest of the two. So why is she doing this and not you? It wasn't fair for me. I had someone I wanted to spend my entire life with. But as soon as my dad found out, his entire family was forced out of town. I never saw him again. Great, so your dad is a homophobic bastard, too! Thing is, though, he usually wasn't like this. I mean, he was actually happy for everyone, even Bianca. So because you weren't interested in getting married their way, they switched to Bianca. How the fuck does that make sense? I knew they were being harsh with this, but I didn't think they would go to this extent. Well, you've known them for a long time. Is it really that much of a surprise? He has a point, Mom. I mean, you should have expected this to happen. Not only that, but I've had to lie about being with a guy, all because my dad was afraid it would ruin our image. I had to say I was with some random girl so people wouldn't think of us differently. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> well, don't your parents sound like fun? Wait till you get in an argument with them. I am going to try and convince your mom one more time. I felt like I was getting through with her when I first started trying to talk to her out of this. Everything will be okay. And we'll get your sister back one way or another. Thank you. Hey, Angela, can we talk privately? Yeah, we can head to the backyard. You kids stay here. Carly, would you mind making food? I'm nervous about this, but this is for Bianca. I want to get her out safe and hope that he didn't do shit to her. And if he does lay a hand on her? I will kill him with my bare hands. Jack! What do you want me to say? You expect me to shake hands with my girlfriend's kidnappers and thank them for hurting her? I know, I know. But you have to understand, this is my entire life on the line. You're lucky the agent is outside. Because if she heard that, this could have gone horribly wrong. I get you want revenge. I get you're angry, but going down this path would only make things worse for you and Bianca. How can going down this path make things worse? 
You're seriously thinking about murder? You don't even know the consequences. James has a point. I understand that you want to save Bianca, but murdering a person is not the way to go. Hey, Bianca is strong. She will make it out. I know she will. Everything will turn out okay, Jack. I know it will. When I was in high school, both Lucy and George have always stuck to each other's side. Lucy's parents didn't want George to date Lucy. I think it is because of their tradition. <sighs> but there was something that we did. If our parents wouldn't let us control who we wanted to see, we saw each other. Don't tell me. You guys went out with each other? I went out with Lucy, and Lucas and George went out with each other, and honestly, we enjoyed this. It gave us a free will to see who we wanted. Then don't get me wrong, I love Lucas. Nothing will tell me otherwise. However, we gave our parents an ultimatum. Let us date who we want, or we stayed like this. Lucas and George stay away from each other, because even though they are married, they still love each other very much. So since you guys decided to go with your true loves, they go ahead and do this? <sighs> By the looks of it, I feel really bad for her. We'll get her out of this situation. Are you sure that we could? By the looks of these people, they sound dangerous. If we're careful enough, we'll be able to get her out. I sure hope so. I know what you're going through, Jack. And I am so sorry that you have to go through this. Jack, I know this will be difficult for you. But you are at a stage where you are basically useless. If you are going to be the one to save Bianca, your life will have to change. Everything you were and wanted in life will not be the same starting now. Do I make myself clear? Whatever it takes to bring back Bianca, I will fight for her, even if it kills me. Jack, are you really sure you're ready for this? Our lives are not going to be the same afterwards. I'm sure, James. As I said, I'm willing to do anything for your sister. Anything. And if that's the case... These nines are going to be yours. You will need to kill people in order to save Bianca. Can you do that? Hold on, I didn't agree to this journey. We have no other choice, Angela. If they are not armed, they will get killed. Do you want to lose your son and daughter? I hope you guys are ready for this. Jack, remember, this is not a video game. This is real life. We got this, Mom. James, how long do you think we have until we save Bianca? We have a month to save her. Then we start tomorrow. Meet me at the agency at 10.30. We're coming, Bianca. I promise. Dad, why did you call me here? I have some bad news, Julian. What is it? We have to postpone the wedding. What? Why? Well, the FBI is onto us. If we continue with the plan, it'll be a tragedy to us and this company. Is it who you're thinking? Oh, yeah. It's her. Oh, what are we going to do? Lay low until their search fades. The sooner, the better. We'll act like perfect everyday citizens. We'll see how long that'll work out for us. This plan has to work perfectly, Julian. We can't.
cannot afford to make mistakes this time. Don't worry. This mission will go accordingly. <laughs>